What up everybody? Welcome back to the Martin Garden YouTube channel and today I have a really simple tutorial because there is a new Nintendo 64 emulator Project 64 3.0 Yes, 3.0 Pikachu So version number 3 and the nagging screen is back So every time that you boot up Project 64, now, you get this screen. And this screen will take 30 seconds for it to disappear. So it says Project 64 is a free and open source Nintendo 64 emulator. It allows you to play real N64 software in much the same way as it would be on the original console. I'm sorry about the inconvenience of this prompt, but you are being asked to wait for a few seconds in order to enjoy the result of hundreds of hours of work. If you can and would like to support Project 64, or you've gotten some value out of it, then please support Project 64 as either a thank you or your desire to remove this prompt. If you have supported Project 64, then enter your or request your notification code over here. So you can press this button, support Project 64, and you can do the good thing and actually help Project 64, you know, and get all of the, uh, you know, good karma and stuff. And they also want to create Project 64 4.0 and 5.0. So they will focus on accuracy, more graphics, better graphics, more accurate graphics, accurate cycling times. And for Project 64 5.0, they want to do a multi-platform thing. Let's see. Have Project 64 to run well on different platforms, including 64-bit on Windows. Kind of works pretty well already on 64-bit, right? But anyway, uh, back in the day, before we had the 3.0 release, this is what you had to do. So you had to go to the installation directory, and you had to open project64.cfg and change the run count to minus one. But if you go here now, and you go to that config file, you can actually see that they patched that because that is nowhere to be found, okay? So it is different now. Now I have found a, a file online and then all you have to do is download that file. You can find that patch file in the description below. Like, subscribe. This one, it's a zip file and it's called the support window patch. And all you have to do is just replace this Project 64 application with this Project 64 application. So I'm actually gonna do that. But before I do that, let me just uh, copy this just in case. Uh, yeah, I wanna back up, okay, copy. Yeah, okay, so let me just replace it with this one. Replace the file. Oh yeah, my Project 64 is open. So you have to close it, otherwise uh, it says this action can't be completed because the folder or file in it is open in another program. Close the folder or file and try again. So I just closed Project 64. Gonna try again. There you go. And now we're gonna open it again. Run anyway. And done. So, the virus scanner uh, gives a false positive, but actually it's fine. There's like nothing in there. And I also want to show you. Okay, so here I have the file just on its own. I right click it, I go to show more options. And then here is the button scan with malware bytes. I have malware bytes premium, so you don't have to worry about that. I press that. Now Malwarebytes is going to scan it and we are going to figure out if there is a virus in there. Well, there you go. Nothing. This is safe. Okay. And also maybe we can scan it with Windows. 
Okay, so now I just turned off Malware Bytes, and I can do the same. So right click, show more options, and now there's a new button here. Scan with Microsoft Defender. So let's do that as well. Nothing, huh? Okay, so here's Windows Security. You can press Customize Scan, and then it says choose which files and locations you want to check. Okay, so click Scan now. And now you have to go to your folder where it's in. So I'm going to scan this whole folder. No threats. Nothing. So this is completely safe. And this way you can play your Pokemon games again, your Zelda games again, your Mario games again, without actually supporting Project 64. So you can be a freaking degenerate piece of crap and still enjoy all of the benefits of free riding this society. And I hope you can sleep at night and you are proud of yourself. And if you want to be even more proud of yourself, then press that like button and subscribe. And leave a little comment, you degenerate piece of shit. Love ya, mwah, bye bye, and support Project 64. Oh yeah guys, there's one thing I forgot to mention. If it doesn't work, so if you boot it up, and these options are not clickable, these tabs, then I know why that is. Sometimes if you boot it up, you can actually access uh, these tabs. And sometimes when you boot it up, you can't. But yeah, most of the time you can. But sometimes even if you boot it up as an uh, administrator, it doesn't work. And then you just have to close it and boot it up again. So yeah, it is way faster than having that prompt there. It's not a hundred percent. Yeah, see? So now now is I can't do it. You see that? Now I can't click it. So what if I just close it and open it again? Now I can. Okay. So maybe it is not actually an administrator thing. But hey, just try running it as an administrator. And I actually think that it's just uh, blocking this because this program is actually still kind of opening that prompt. But yeah, you are able to just click away immediately and then just boot it up again. You know what I mean? So that will save you a lot of time. So it's one of those. It doesn't really matter. I think it's the latter. But uh, yeah, maybe it's also the administrator thing. So yeah, I'm using this 8-bit Doe SN30 Pro Plus controller for my Project 64 emulator uh, because I think it's really comfortable. So yeah, check it out. This is that emulator and this is that file that we just patched. So, yeah, it works flawlessly, to be honest. I also just configured my controller. And, yeah. No problems here. Apparently, I can't do the lock to skip. I'm not simply. But, uh... Yeah. Lynn Stevens can suck my big ass Pikachu down. So yeah, this does work. It's really nice. I might have to reconfigure some of uh, the buttons. But I think everything's fine except for A and B might be reversed. Well, that's quite okay, actually. Oh, yeah, the Z button. I think I'm gonna reconfigure that. No, it's, it's, it's fine, actually. It's pretty nice. So this controller is so freaking nice. Camera works as well. Yeah, it's perfect. So, you know, uh, no problems here. Emulation works fine. Um, no nagging prompt. Input settings work fine as well. You know, all of the plugins. There's like nothing uh, wrong here. You can 
also like you know you know what to do texture enhancements and and resolution uh enhancements you can do whatever you want but yeah this works so for now this is all you need and i hope to see you on twitch.tv slash martyrguard live and yeah also on his youtube channel so that's everything guys bye bye